it to pee pee. We're here, just gonna pay my island tax now. And then I can find my hostel. So this is why I absolutely love travel days, carrying all these backpacks in 33 degree heat. But I found my hostel through a maze of different roads. And that's it, voyages. Just arrived and this is my number eight. Wherever you go, there's always the Irish pub. I might have to go in. <laughs> Found this little restaurant. Hello, my mum. It was recommended to me. Got stir fried green curry. Wow, I love these bonsai trees. How beautiful are they? My first impressions of Co-PP were really good. Um, they're still good. It's very much the party island. Lots of youngsters, lots of fire shows, lots of bars, lots of buckets of alcohol. So I should imagine later on there's gonna be some very tipsy people about. <laughs> I'm looking forward to spending some time here and going around and seeing some of the other smaller islands. Because my 20 day, no swimming ban will be up. <laughs> the views out there across the water with the sun setting, it's just amazing. I really, really like it. It's so pretty. It was really hot today though. But yeah, I'm liking Kopipi. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. Proper English breakfast, HP sauce. They've got mustard. I'm in seventh heaven. Can't even begin to tell you how much I enjoyed that. It's been such a long time since I've had anything resembling English food. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love the Thai food and all the food that I've been trying that sometimes you just want a little taste of home. It's a busy little port, this one. Well, I've got some exciting news. I've signed up for my open water just in this paddy dive school behind here on PP in Thailand. I thought if I don't do it now, I'm going to chicken out. So that's what I'm going to do. I've now got to go back to my room and do some studying because I've got exams to take. I've come to Garlic 1992 and they've given us a little sheet so that we can understand and speak better Thai. What a really good idea. I ordered vegetable spring rolls and a chicken pad Thai and the vegetable spring rolls were really nice. My dinner's just arrived and it looks lovely. I'm so hungry. I've been doing my dive exam all day and I haven't eaten, so I'm really gonna look forward to this. This is my first practical of my open water today. So I've arrived here bright and early. I think it's only about 10 to nine this morning. And I'm going to go down. I'll show you where we're gonna go for the practical bit. So just in that part of the water, just there. So yeah, I've got to do lots of tests. I've got to take the regulator out. I've got to take all the equipment off, put it back on. I've got to take my mask off, put it back on, clear it. Yeah, so I'm a little bit nervous. So hopefully I will breeze through it and there won't be any hitches, hopefully. Just got back from my diving. I got attacked. It's like a, a powder and water solution they put in your cheeks for Songkran, which is the Thai New Year. And I'm now just gonna go and have a shower because I'm exhausted from all that diving. I'm on my second day of my open water course. We've just stopped to have a little bit of, a little bit of lunch. So I've done all my enclosed water bits. I've done all my theory. So I've just got two open water dives to do and my final exam and then I'm done. Yay! <laughs> I 
can't even begin to tell you how tired I am. I've just finished one training dive and two in the sea open water training dives. Absolutely shattered. So I'm gonna go back and have a shower and sort myself out. And then after that, I've got to go back and take the final exam. Last night, because of the Songkran, the um, New Year Festival, my housemates were a little bit noisy. Kept me awake till like 2, 3 a.m. So of course, all that on top of a day's diving the day before, and now another full day. I'll be looking forward to having a bit of a lay-in. I feel like I haven't picked up the phone to vlog very much at all, but literally, I've had exam after exam after exam. I've taken so far about five different exams and then you've got the revision tests and I've still got one more to do. So it's not official yet because I've got to pass the final theory exam. <sighs> Whoa ho, guess who's a certified? open water diver <laughs> oh my god she's only gone and done it wow i am now officially an open water diver i can't believe i've passed it two days and i've passed all my exams i got 96 percent can't believe it i'm so chuffed with myself it was one of the hardest things i have ever ever done but we got there and i am now an open water diver 18 meters go me i might even stop for a drink <laughs> 